I'm Cassandra, or Cass, and this is Tucker and our newly added companion, Oliver. Over a year ago, we moved in to our 2020 Ford Transit, who I call Freedom, and together we've driven 6,000 kilometers across the beautiful country of Canada, from Alberta to Newfoundland and everything in between. As we enjoy the last few weeks of the East Coast, we will soon be making our way back to the central part of the country, and we are so excited to take you along. Let me explain how I got here. Over the course of the last seven months, I have truly put so much meaning into life and what it means to live the human experience. Through the people that I've always had in my life to the people that I've met on the road and my overall experience traveling by myself, I've learned that life is about living your soulful purpose. Not what you were told, but what fills your soul with joy and excitement and believing in finding your truth and inner knowing that you can live your dreams and get paid doing it too. I've learned that feeling confident in yourself and becoming more self-aware is literally a daily practice, a practice in becoming who you're meant to be in this lifetime. I feel the one understanding that really stands out for me the most is that you often feel the most resistance when you're about to make a major life decision. And that is when you simply have to surrender absolutely everything and just take that leap of faith. And that's exactly what I've done. say for the past two years I've been healing and becoming aware of the programming I've been living with since I was a kid around scarcity and lack in the form of abundance and wealth. I've been awakened to the reality that a lot of the programming that feels so habitual actually belongs to my parents and it's not something that I would have chosen for myself which is pretty powerful stuff and a powerful realization because that means it's not mine to hang on to and that I can let it go. While learning that letting go of it and reprogramming myself to not only live my dreams, but be so incredibly grateful in the moment and the here and now is a daily practice, like a muscle that needs to be worked in order to grow. So as I sit here and reflect on the fact that I chased after my dreams of living on the road, I built my home on wheels the way I imagined it at the time. Now, not with one, but two wiener dogs, engaged to the most incredible, positive, and optimistic man that I get to spend the rest of my life with, where together we have so much abundance, wealth, and freedom. And to add just another layer and piece to my journey, I took the biggest leap of faith in believing in myself and my business and my creativity to quit the nine to five job that I had been with for the past six years, that I put before my own life for far too long that left me feeling deflated every other day to follow my entrepreneurial dreams and continue to build and grow our community of creative collections as the photographer, creator, videographer, and storyteller that I am. So all of this just to say, yes, I live full time on the road with the two most incredible fur babies I could ever ask for. I am engaged to my best friend. I have driven over 6,000 kilometers across the beautiful country of Canada, and I just quit my nine to five stream of income. And now I am a full-time creator. I take pictures of people and things. I tell stories through my YouTube channel and share other people's stories on their wedding day in filmmaking. I have met the most incredible people that stand in front of my camera, and I'm really excited to continue on this journey. I could not thank you enough for the endless support through my platform on social media. And maybe I'll capture whoever is watching and listening to this ramble while I sit here in a beach in Nova Scotia.